if x squared minus 5x plus 6 is a factor of this polynomial p of x is equal to x to the power of 4 plus ax cubed minus x squared plus bx minus 72 find the values of a and b so the first thing that is given is this is a factor of this polynomial so let's factorize that so x squared minus 5x plus 6 if you factorize that what you can say yeah, this is x minus 3 times x minus 2 so now I can say x minus 3 is a factor of this polynomial and x minus 2 is a factor so let's take one at a time so what are we saying x minus 3 is a factor of p of x which implies p of 3 is going to be 0 same way we can say x minus 2 is a factor is a factor of p of x which implies which implies p of 2 is going to be 0 so basically what you have to do is you have to set find p of 2 and set it that equal to 0 and p of 3 set that equal to 0 so you are going to get simultaneous equation solve it and that's all so you can pause this video if you can do the rest okay so let's find p of 3 first okay so p of 3 would be 3 raised to 4 which is 81 plus 3 cube is 27 so that's 27a minus 9 plus 3a 3b minus 72 is equal to 0 same way we can put p of 2 is also 0 so if you put 2 in this equation so what are we getting 2 raised to 4 is 16 plus 2 cube is 8 so 8a uh, minus 4 plus 2b minus 72 is equal to 0 so from this I can say if you simplify this I'll pause the video and try to do I want you to do the rest yourself so simplifying this you can see 27a plus 3b so 81 minus 9 is 72 take away 72 is 0 and this is 8a plus 2b uh, and if you simplify this so this is going to be how much 12 so plus 12 take away 72 is minus 60 and now you to just solve this okay so if you solve for a and b uh, using a calculator you can go to simultaneous okay so let us use a calculator so go to equation where is the equation yeah here it is go to simultaneous two unknown so I'll put 27 3 and 0 and for second it is a 2 and 60 and solve for so a is a is minus 6 and b is 54 so a is so a is minus 6 and b is 64 all right 54 sorry it's good to check so now how will you check your answer so what are we saying if a a is minus 6 and b is 54 uh, the roots would be 3 and 2 if x minus 3 is a factor the root would be 3 and 2 so let's check that so go to equation go to uh, go to polynomial third degree so let's put 1 under a b is your b is this a value which is minus 6 and your c is this minus 1 uh, oh, so it's a fourth degree okay so I can't do a fourth degree polynomial so if you have a calculator 
which has a fourth, which solves fourth degree polynomial. It goes only up to the third degree. So I can't use my calculator. So let's understand this in a different way. Okay, so let's go to graph. Okay, I like always to check my answer. So go to graph and let's let's type in this equation. So x raised to 4 a is minus 6 or minus 6 x cube oops I to type in something here I to delete this go up x raised to 4 minus 6 x cube minus x squared this is called a quartic equation plus 54x minus 72. Okay, so let me go zoom out and make it auto. Okay, so let's scroll up. So G solve and let's find the root. One is negative three, the other is two. You got three here. Yeah? And three and three and two, two and three. That's what we wanted. So the roots are two and three. So when we say x minus three and x minus two are the factors. Uh, so if you want to draw the sketch of this graph, so you got minus three, two, three, and four. So just to explain graphically, if you graph this. Okay. So let me draw a. a we draw a graph of this so this is how does it go so this is going down up so the graph is going like this okay so this is negative 2 so this is negative 3 this is 2 this is 3 and this goes up and this is if you draw the line this is a very messy graph so the factors are, so the roots are 2 and 3, minus 3 and 4. So if you want, if the question is to factorize this, the factors would be x plus 3 times x minus 2 times x minus 3 times x minus 4. Okay, so because it's a quartic or a biquadratic equation, so it has got four roots.